CNN refuses to get into reality with Russia and their role in hacking our democracy in 2016. The fake news network refuses to acknowledge whatever hacking Russia did, it did not affect the outcome of the 2016 election. Once again, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders had to deal with this issue at the White House press briefing, and she finally lost it and shoved Barack Obama and his record in CNN's Jim Acosta's face. You'll love this. Poor Sarah Sanders, she has to deal with idiots who want to ask the same questions over and over again, as if they're hoping that, if they ask enough times, they'll eventually get a different answer, something children like to do. Of course, Russia is one of their favorite topics for such questioning. Last week, Vice President Mike Pence made it clear these crazy Russian bots and Russian troll farms did not affect the outcome of the 2016 election. Irrespective of efforts that were made in 2016 by foreign powers, it is the universal conclusion of our intelligence communities that none of those efforts had any impact on the outcome of the 2016 election, Pence said at an event hosted by Axios, according to The Hill. All special counsel Robert Mueller's lengthy investigation could come up with was 13 Russians who were trolling the internet, and they did nothing in terms of swaying the election for any one candidate. It's really a joke. These Russians weren't even trying to help President Donald Trump win, they were just sowing confusion. Breitbart reports, the Mueller indictment alleges that these Russian actors engaged in paid and other social media efforts, as well as staging political rallies and sowing discord in the United States using identity politics by propping up causes like Black Lives Matter pro-Islamic causes, religious entities, and more. And, they did it by posing as US persons with falsified or stolen identities. So, when CNN foolishly started accusing President Trump of doing nothing to stop Russia, Sarah Sanders had to remind them this all happened on former President Barack Obama's watch. Look, this president, as I told you last week, has been much tougher on Russia than his predecessor. Let's not forget that this happened under Obama, it didn't happen under President Trump. If you want to blame somebody on past problems, then you need to look at the Obama administration, said Sanders with attitude. CNN is so crazy about this Russian meddling which amounted to nothing, that they accosted a poor elderly woman at her home last Tuesday. The Washington Examiner reports, a CNN reporter and camera crew approached an elderly female Trump supporter in public to confront her about promoting a pro-Trump social media account that was allegedly set up by Russians. They add, on Tuesday night, the network aired a news segment showing reporter Drew Griffin asking the woman, identified as Florine Grew in Goldfarb, whether she knew she was involved with the allegedly Russian-established Facebook account being patriotic. But they Russians were involved with you. Did you guys know that? Griffin asked Goldfarb. They weren't involved with us, Goldfarb said, telling the CNN crew to report its story correctly and that members of her group were American supporters. Those were Russians, Griffin said, referring to the Being Patriotic account, which organized a pro-Trump rally promoted by Goldfarb's Facebook group. They were not Russians. I don't go with the Russians, Goldfarb said. Critics on social media accused CNN of harassing the woman. Despicable, CNN hunts down an ordinary citizen at home, accusing her of aiding Russia because she promoted an event on FB that Mueller says Russians organized, tweeted journalist Glenn Greenwald. The poor woman has since been attacked by Trump haters after the CNN interview ran on live TV. Twitter user Mellon tweeted, her house is shown. 
she was named in the full version of the interview. She has already been inundated with hate messages online, and people have driven to her home to yell at the house. Yeah, I call that doxing times 10. So, it's no wonder White House press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders is sick and tired of fake news CNN pushing their ridiculous bogus Russian narrative. The entire network is so deranged, suffering from Russian fever. Luckily, more and more people are realizing Robert Mueller's investigation was just a witch hunt that, so far, has turned up a big nothing burger. Until CNN winds up shut down for good, falling victim to their bad reputation, we can depend on Sarah Sanders to keep correcting the liars and Trump haters.